That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen in my life. All right, guys, let's get right back into it. Let's start talking about some more of these 2020 wide receivers. I want to reiterate, after we saw Michael Pittman really come on strong on Thursday night against the Tennessee Titans, I think it is so safe to say that this is by far and away the best group of wide receivers that we've ever seen come into the NFL. Yes, better than the 2014 class that had Sammy Watkins, Allen Robinson, Mike Evans, Odell, Brandon Cooks, and just so on. So many talented wide receivers. I was on record saying we would never see a class that good again. And here we are with 2020. Clearly, guys, this class is blowing 2014 out of the water. But now let's focus in on a wide receiver that really has not done much through his rookie season. And this was actually the number one wide receiver drafted in the NFL draft, Henry Ruggs. Okay, I want to come out and say this right away, guys. Henry Ruggs may be my highest owned player in Dynasty Fantasy Football out of the 2020 NFL Draft class. I mean, I was taking Henry Ruggs over guys like T. Higgins. I was taking him over Michael Pittman, LaVisca Chenault. Now, I think that a couple of those calls may not be looking so hot right now, but let's dive into it. And guys, please go down to the comments below and let me know two things. One, let me know what you are doing with Henry Ruggs. Let me know if you are buying, if you are selling. And also, while you're down there, please let me know what player you want me to cover in the next video. And guys, keep in mind, I have already covered a significant amount of this rookie class. So before you leave a comment telling me DeAndre Swift, C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, any of those running backs, please make sure you go check the channel. Make sure I have not covered them in a video before because I most likely have. Okay, so now let's get into Henry Ruggs. And guys, this was the first wide receiver off the board in the 2020 NFL Draft class. Obviously, he was actually being drafted around the wide receiver five or six in our Dynasty Fantasy Football drafts, and that was completely fair due to the fact that Henry Ruggs was drafted off of his elite athleticism, and we know at the NFL level, you really need to prioritize that speed just because it creates so much offensive efficiency when you're able to clear out the defense, when you're able to keep the safeties back, and then allow your other wide receivers to operate underneath. So definitely, we always knew that Henry Ruggs was going to be a wide receiver that was more valuable to the NFL and the Las Vegas Raiders than he was to our fantasy football teams, just because he did not necessarily profile to be someone that was going to see an insane amount of targets each and every week. But the main question was, how much more valuable is he going to be for the Las Vegas Raiders compared to our Dynasty Fantasy football teams? Can he provide us these spike weeks where he jumps up to being a high-end wide receiver one? Yes, he's always going to be a little bit more volatile due to the fact that he profiles to be someone that wins with efficiency and not necessarily volume. But right now, guys, I think it's hard to say that we can even rely on that because right now, Henry Ruggs is averaging three and a half targets a game, a little over 10 yards per target, and that's actually a very impressive mark, and over 35 receiving yards a game. And real quick, I want to say that if we run these numbers through historical tendencies, this is actually not bad. If you combine his volume and you combine the fact that he is seeing more than 10 yards per target, it's actually a decent list of wide receivers. It's a little bit longer than for me to go really and cover every single guy, so not going to do that. But looking into it, it actually looks like Henry Ruggs, because of those spike performance that he has had in 2020, is actually not performing as poorly as we would initially think. And what I actually like to see with Henry Ruggs is that he's averaging about five rushing yards a game as well. Obviously, this is not something that directly correlates to a ton of fantasy production, but it actually tells us that this coaching staff wants to get the ball into Henry Ruggs hands and that is inspiring for his future season production and I'll say right now guys I think the entire reason we are not seeing that Henry Ruggs breakout and we are seeing a couple of these numbers look a little funky is actually two reasons one Henry Ruggs has not been fully healthy all season we have know he's played multiple games where he was on the injury report going into the game where he was limited and secondly we actually have seen Nelson Aguilar operate as the deep threat on this offense as well and Nelson Aguilar has actually looked pretty decent in this role extremely extremely better than what he was able to do in Philadelphia but at the end of the day guys I think that we are actually going to have to look at Henry Ruggs 
And based on the price that you may be able to get him in your Dynasty Fantasy Football League, I think that he may actually be a buy. Because of that Nelson Aguilar production, I think we are going to see Nelson Aguilar faded out of the offense. I think we are going to see Henry Ruggs take 100% of those snaps and 100% of those targets. And when that happens, I still think that Ruggs has that low-end wide receiver 2 upside where he can provide you those spike wide receiver 1 weeks at the same time. And also, what I love about Henry rugs and buying him right now is this is a wide receiver that was not sold as a complete piece coming into the NFL. We all knew that he was raw. The reason you drafted Henry Ruggs was for his long-term upside. So just because we are seeing all of these other elite wide receivers in the 2020 NFL draft class come out here and go on a tear, guys like T. Higgins, Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, I mean, they are looking fantastic. Obviously, we would rather have all of those wide receivers that have been producing currently over Henry Ruggs, but just because they have been so talented, that does not take away what Henry Ruggs is currently. I just think that he's kind of being undervalued due to all of these breakouts that we're seeing across the other 2020 landscape. And I'll say right now, if we could go out there and possibly move some of our 2021 first round picks, where it's gonna be a little bit harder to evaluate that draft class, for Henry Ruggs, where we know he has the profile. He has really everything you would want. If you're a contending team, I don't mind whatsoever trading my 2021 first for Henry Ruggs right now. I would actually advise doing so. Now, thank you guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope y'all got something from it. As always, please make sure you go down there, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, tell me what player you would like to see next. And yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow with the next video.